Happy Thursday, Drew Scholars. Mr. Christian, back to read you today's Read Aloud. And in today's Read Aloud, we're going to be reading Frog and Friends, Frog's Lucky Day. Two weeks ago, we read a Frog and Friends book, and it was Frog and Friends, A Party at the Pond. And today, I thought it would be great to read another story with both Frog and his friends. So, the author, again of the Frog and Friends book is Eve Bunting, and the illustrator is Josie Moss. So I hope you have a comfortable place to sit. You have both ears open, ready to listen, your eyes focus on the screen, and let's read this book together, Frog and Friends, Frog's Lucky Day. I see a rainbow. Look, Frog pointed up. I see a rainbow. Possum and raccoon and rabbit and squirrel and chameleon and little jumping mouse looked at the sky. The little possums jumped up and down. Look, 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 they shouted. Oh, the rainbow is so lovely, Possum said. I like how they're using some plants and flowers as a as an umbrella while it's raining that's that's cute it is all colors she told chameleon like you chameleon blushed today he was green it is much prettier than i am he said that is not true frog said you are very pretty that's kind of frog to say Everyone sat around the pond, counting colors on the rainbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, Jumping Mouse chanted. There's a magic story about a rainbow, she said. Jumping Mouse knew a lot because she liked to play in people's houses. She liked to listen when they talked. There was a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, she told them, but no one has ever found a place where the rainbow ends. Why not? Squirrel asked. It is hard to find, little jumping mouse said. Squirrel ran up a tall, tall tree. I see the end of it, he shouted. The end is in the field that nobody owns. We could go there and find the gold. What do you think? Do you think there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? I haven't been able to find the end of a rainbow. Have you? I wonder. Let's find out together. We do not need gold, Chameleon said. Frog smiled. No, but it would be nice to be the first to find the end of a rainbow. Good, 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 the little possum shouted. They love to go on field trips. Frog and his friends walked across grass, under trees, around rocks. They were all tired when they got to the field that nobody owned. Rabbit scratched her head. I do not see the end of the rainbow, she said. I think it's behind that gray cloud, Frog said. But this must be the end of the rainbow. Look at all the gold. Everyone gasped. <gasps> Frog was so excited he hopped too high and fell over. Raccoon helped him up. <laughs> Squirrel clapped his paws. So much, all over the field that nobody owns. Too much to put in one pot, Possum added. Her little possums jumped off her tail and ran through the field. It's not the kind of gold we thought, Chameleon said. It is better, Frog smiled. Yes, 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 he said. Golden dandelions, what could be nicer? 
Wow. So they did find gold. Gold and dandelions, though. Shall we take some back with us? Rabbit asked. Frog shook his head. Someone else may be looking for the end of the rainbow. We will leave it for someone else to find and enjoy. We found it first. That is what we wanted, Rabbit said. Who will know that we found it first? Raccoon asked. We will, Frog said. That is what is important. That is very true. He was happy, but also tired. He knew that tonight he would sleep well and dream of rainbows. Oh, the next chapter. No fishing. Frog watched the fisherman walking toward the pond. He was carrying a folding chair and a box and a fishing pole. Oh no, Frog thought. I wish I could tell him there are no fish in my pond. He will find out. The fisherman dropped the hook and line into the water. The hook had bait on its point. What kind of bait do you think the fisherman added to the end of his fishing pole? Hmm. Maybe a worm? I think it was a worm. What do you think? Let's see if we can see the bait. Aha, it was a worm. The frog dived deep, but the hook trailed his way in that way in the pond. Frog had to jump over it. He had to slide under it or swim around it. Help! Help! Frog croaked. Raccoon came. She stood near the pond and made a scary face. The fisherman did not see her. <laughs> that is a pretty scary face from the raccoon. <laughs> I would run away if I saw that. <laughs> Squirrel came and threw acorns at him. <laughs> oh, the fisherman did not move. Possum brought her little possums. There are no fish in this pond, the little possum shouted. Go away! The fisherman did not hear. He fished all day. By nighttime, Frog was very tired. He'd been jumping and sliding and swimming and hiding all day long. Rabbit came. Oh dear, you're shaking, she stroked Frog's head. I'm afraid the fisherman will come back, Frog said. He does not care that there are no fish. He likes it here. I must leave my pond and go someplace else. Oh no, his friends cried. No, please, don't move. How can we do without you? I have to go, Frog said. I am worn out. They huddled together and cried. Then they dried their eyes. Little jumping mouse blew her nose. We know you are in danger, she said. Chameleon turned pale with sorrow. What well, has to be has to be, Raccoon told him. She helped Frog tie on his pretty blue scarf. I will miss you all so much, Frog said. We will walk with you, Rabbit told him. They walked slowly. Oh no, Frog has to find a new home. That's sad. And all his friends are gonna miss him. As they walked, they sang a sad song. Little Jumping Mouse held Frog's legs. Frog's hand, sorry, I'll read that again. Little Jumping Mouse held Frog's hand. After a while, they came to another pond. It had a sign beside it that said, No fishing. I will be safe here, Frog said. I will try to be happy. 
it was a nice pond. I wonder why I didn't say no fishing on the other pond that frog lived in. But it was not his home. He tried not to show his friends how unhappy he was. And then he saw a big trash can. And the can was another no fishing sign. An old one. Oh, Frog said. They got a new sign. They threw this one away. We will take it. He smiled his biggest smile. I will not move to this pond, he said. This sign will move to my pond. Huh, I wonder if that sign's gonna tell the fishermen not to go to Frog's original pond anymore. Let's find out. Great idea! Hurrah! Hurrah! His friends shouted. Together, they pulled the sign from the trash can. Together, they carried it back to Frog's Pond. No fishing, the sign said in big, big letters. Welcome to my pond, Frog told it. He felt better already. And that is the end of Frog and Friends, Frog's Lucky Day. I hope you enjoyed. This read aloud scholars. I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's read aloud. Enjoy the rest of your day.